What's going on, everybody? All right, I still got the snuggly wigglies going on because um, this stuff makes you feel like you're freezing to death. So, hmm. Anyway, I've been answering some emails. Some emails I answer direct. Some emails I, I do like this. Uh, but this one I have to do like this because it, it requires a little bit more explanation. Okay. Gold. Gold, silver, and platinum and palladium. People tell me that's better than crypto. You know, better than XRP. And I'm like, okay, yes, but no. Let me explain why. I believe everybody should have some gold, some silver. Um, you know, you can use platinum, palladium, whatever. But let's just say some gold, some silver. In the event that there is ever a currency issue where the current currency of your country, see I'm saying around the world, your country collapses, and then eventually there's a barter system that goes on or I'll give you this amount for you know gold or silver for that, whatever it may be. That's a barter thing. That's like the walking dead type stuff, you know, trade. Um, hopefully we don't have to go through that in our lifetime, especially in my lifetime, because I've gone through enough shit. But the other thing is if the country's currency ever collapses and they have to issue new currency, you with your gold or silver will be able to buy the new currency, probably at a huge advantage. But right there, that is the limitation of gold and silver in modern times. Until now. See, the problem with gold and silver, platinum, palladium, is that in order to use it, you have to sell it. But in the process of it, you have to sell it to somebody who can validate it. And then you guys got to come up on an agreed upon price. But what that also requires, you have to trans transfer, you have to travel with your, your metals to a, a dealer broker or somebody willing to buy the gold or silver or metal, that's not an easy thing to do. That's slow. Versus the new era that's coming now where gold, silver, platinum, palladium can be deposited in a vault, assigned a value, and then that value tokenized on a blockchain can then be used to make purchases and move money around. And I'm gonna to try to give it to you like this. The best thing to happen to gold, silver, platinum, and palladium is gonna be blockchain technology, tokenized assets. Let me explain why. Think of gold and silver as a horse and carriage, like the buggies back in the old days. You might say, I have it, and if all cars break down, look, I can use this, and that's true. The horse and buggy will take you from point A to point B. Slow, you gotta feed the animal, things like that, you know. But it'll take you from point A to point B. The problem is trying to use that horse and buggy in today's world where on a highway, you got cars going 80, 90 miles an hour. Do you understand? That's where it becomes difficult because the blockchain the tokenization of real world asset, that's the super highway. It moves things too fast. That's why you can't use gold to pay your, I don't know, cell phone bill, car bill, mortgage, but you can't. It's, what are you gonna do? You have a metal, you have a hard asset. It, it, it's hard to, to extract any type of value out of that. It's like a house. You have a house, you have equity. What do you have to do? Go to the bank, have them value it, and at the end of the day, issue you equity against that, that portion of equity, you know, cash and gets that equity in the home. It's a process. That's why the best thing that happened to gold and silver is what's going to be happening where you're going to have organizations, companies that will take a deposit, like let's say a state bank of let's say Texas or something like that. You make a deposit of your gold and then you have that value there. Now that value, you know, you can, you can transfer it around. That world, the tokenized asset, that's what XRP is tapping into with the whole XRP, L type, whatever. That smart contract type thing, that's the future of the world. You heard the head of the CEO of BlackRock say the other day, there's tons of gold stored in vaults, but it doesn't do anything if it's stored in a vault. But with this, it's going to allow it to move back and forth. Should you own gold and silver? Yeah. Platinum, platinum? Yeah. But understand something, I gave you the scenarios for it. That's of a total system breakdown for barter or for buying the new currency when it's issued. But for daily day life transactions, moving money around, buying a home here, taking care of stuff, 
No. It just it, it's not applicable in this world. It's not a horse and buggy versus a private jet. You can't compare. It, it's just not the same. They both they're both in the travel industry, but let's face it, you're not going to get to Australia in a, in a horse and buggy. So I hope that helps explain that because I couldn't put that all in an email. So giant hugs, more visits to come.